my name is Jay Patel. I live in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. I'm 15 years old. My goal is to become a great scientist. I decided to become a great scientist when I was in, I think, grade 9. And I got influenced by many scientists. For example, Newton, Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and my dad. My dream is to find an ultimate theory in physics, which explains the world and a quantum world of physics. We see the ball curve and wonder why do spinning ball curve? First, we should know what spinning ball is. It is a rotation of the ball caused by air flowing around the ball, results of aerodynamic forces and a gravitational force. Curve ball is a spinning pitch that deflects to the opposite side. Spinning ball causes the curve ball and affects the other principle and forces. For example, Bernoulli's principle, lift force, gravitational force, drag force. Balloonist principle is important to curve ball of imbalance in pressure on each side of the ball. Air will move faster on one side resulting in high pressure. Therefore, there will be low pressure on each side which pushes the ball sideways. The drag force is acting on a curve ball. It is an opposite direction to the crust. Drags depend on the surface of the ball. Gravitational force is always reacting on the ball. The ball will always move to the perpendicular to the gravity. The lift force is a force perpendicular to forward motion of a spinning ball moving through the fluid. When, a, when an object is moved through air, its surface is packed with a thin layer known as boundary layer. When a boundary layer spills away from the surface, it creates weight. Magnes effect on curve ball can be measured by the formula below. Therefore, the question becomes what are the forces that are acting on the curve ball at any given moment? The ball is spinning which creates drag. The airflow on one side of the ball will flow in the same direction of the ball that was thrown. On other side, the air airflow will reverse and the air will flow the opposite side of the ball as thrown. This will sh slow down the ball on this side and will create a high pressure and a low pressure on the other side. This uneven pressure will cause the ball to curve. In the experiment, my purpose was to see if the ball curves. Therefore, I took a tennis ball and a baseball. Basically, I'm winding the ball to make it spin. And I'm doing this for 50, 50 times. From my data and result, I was successfully to prove that spinning ball do curves. We can also calculate the trajectory of a curving ball. References